What's up everybody? Welcome to my first video. Gonna try this out. Um, never done it before, but hey, let's give it a whirl. So over the last couple of months or so, I've been doing a lot of uh, photography in relation to action figures, toys, whatever you want to call them. But hey, my little uh, my little six inch figures, uh, they've done me well. Uh, I've created some pretty cool stuff with them. As you can see, the uh, six inch, they have quite a bit of detail, uh, but they're six inches tall. And that does limit you sometimes with what you can create. <clears throat> so, what I have uh, finally broke down and done is got into the 12 inch figures. My first one was a Sand Trooper, which some of you guys have already seen some of the photos I've posted on my website and Facebook and Instagram. So, a couple of months ago, I ordered this guy's sort of big brother, the Star Wars Shore Trooper. <clears throat> And it came in, and I figured I would uh, give you guys first look before I actually started doing any kind of uh, photography with it. Figured, hey, let's give you guys the first look of it and see what you think. So here we go. I'm gonna move the little brother off for now. Ta-da! The Sideshow uh, Hot Toys 12-inch Star Wars Shore Trooper. And to be honest with you, first impressions, I was impressed with my Sand Trooper that I got. Uh, first impressions on this one is, I'm even more impressed with this one, I do believe. Uh, as you can see from the box, got some amazing graphics. I love the fact it's just a plain black box and then you got the, the graphic of the Shore Trooper. Um, got the band that goes around it, but it doesn't, it doesn't actually go all the way around the box. It just actually comes around on the lid. So uh, let's open this bad boy up and see what we got. All right. I'll set this off to the side here for a minute. Um, the cover cover art uh, over the clamshell, as you can see, is, is pretty amazing. Uh, this piece here, what's cool about these cover art that all these figures come with, you could, in theory, actually frame these. Um, the graphics, the detail, it's, it's pretty phenomenal. So, no complaints, no complaints whatsoever when it comes to uh, the art. All right. There's a lot of YouTubers out there that collect these figures. They do what's called a sniff test. I'm not going there, but uh, Hot Toys and Sideshow products, they actually do have a very distinct aroma. Um, a lot of it's sort of leathery, sort of like going into a Wilson's leather shop. Uh, but here you go. First look in the clamshell. Clamshell, um, you can't really get a lot of detail when it comes to the clamshell, but I'll be taking it out, showing it to you, and uh, we'll go from there. But overall, once again, no complaints. Let's drag this thing out. Um, one of the things that's in the box I, is, is this little background. And let me slide this over just a little bit. Um, as you can see, it, it's got this little graphic, sort of almost like a comic strip feel to it. But on the inside, it actually has like a metal or a industrial space type look to it couple little brackets with it and this actually I believe is a backdrop uh, I'm not gonna open this thing up because be honest with you I'm about to figure this thing out uh, my sand trooper didn't come with anything like this so this is new uh, well if it turns out to be a pretty cool backdrop then hey you'll see it in a photograph that I do moment of truth the clan shell is coming off Sideshow and Hot Toys, just on a side note, they do an excellent job on packaging. Um, these figures are expensive. There's nothing about these things cheap, and they do a really good job on making sure that the figures are protected and, uh, and during shipment and everything. So here we go. Let's take off this little protective plastic that's around the helmet. Here he is. And all of his glory. Um, 
the Star Wars Shore Trooper um, MMS 389 for uh, the folks out there that are interested in, in that little bit of trivia. Um, I'm not going. I'm not going to go into a whole lot of articulation like a lot of folks do with these these reviews and things like that. My primary focus for this thing is it's not going to be on display on a shelf. It's going to be photographed. It's going to be photographed out in the wild. Uh, this thing is going to be put through the ringers. It's going to get dirty, uh, muddy, wet. Um, anybody that's actually a, a sideshow or a hot toy uh, figure collector will probably cringe at that, but oh well. That's, that's my purpose in life is to photograph these things. <clears throat> so let's, uh, let's get him in a little pose. We'll turn his head over to you right there. Uh, they got the uh, plastic covering the joints. Um, I'll go into a little bit more detail as far as the, the actual figure goes itself here in just a moment. So let's just let's sit him right here and we'll look at the accessories. Um, a lot of the Hot Toys Sideshow action figures, depending on the figure, they come with quite a bit of accessories. My Sand Trooper, it came with a lot of accessories. The Shore Trooper does not. So if you're looking for accessories, the Shore Trooper is definitely not going to be the way to go. However, <clears throat> like with all Sideshow and uh, Hot Toy products, get some extra pegs um, that come with it, which is uh, a must. The primary accessory for the Shore Trooper is its weapon. I do not know the actual official uh, designation for this weapon. Um, it's definitely not a typical uh, stormtrooper, clone trooper, anything like that weapon, but it's actually really, really pretty cool. There's lots of detail in it. I will do a lot more detailed uh, in, in my photography that will show a lot of what this thing looks like. But once again, Sasho did a great job really 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 great job on the detail and it's got a little bit of weight to it so it's a it's a pretty cool addition to the uh to the figure the only other real accessories that come with it comes with uh two extra pairs of uh hands and of course their lefts and the rights we have a left fisted grip uh, lots of detail on the back of it, the little back plate. I know that you won't be able to really tell the, the detail on it, but it's got some really, really good scuff marks, weathering. Uh, we got a left trigger finger. Um, we got a right fisted. And we also have a right trigger finger. So that's it as far as the hands go. It also comes with the open palm uh, on the figure itself. Um, one other little tidbit as far as the actual uh, figure goes, they uh, all, all of them come with a base. Uh, this particular base, uh, the plate on it, Imperial Shore Trooper, Star Wars Rogue One. The cover on this one is more of a industrial, uh, sort of a deck plating which actually goes along with the uh, the backdrop piece that I think is a backdrop, so that's, that's pretty cool. If you don't want to go that route, it comes with a card, and the card actually has a, uh, a picture of the Shore Trooper on it. Uh, you actually can place it on the base like this, and of course, with all the figures, you have the actual figure stand itself, which basically just pops into place, adjust it. Boom, there he is on his base. Um, but overall, uh, let's, uh, let me look again at some of the, uh, the details on this thing. The one thing I love about the, the actual Shore Trooper compared to the Storm Troopers, uh, or even my Sand Trooper, is there's not a lot of armor on this thing on the lower extremities. Like, you don't see the thigh guards, which actually I like the fact that it has normal clothes. Um, this gives it more of a, to me, more of a realistic military feel, feel to it. 
the weathering uh, paint job and everything on this thing is absolutely phenomenal. The scuff marks, um, yeah. I can't really think of any, any other better words to describe how, how good this thing actually looks as far as the weathering goes. Uh, lots of, a little bit of, we'll go through a little bit of articulation. Actually has a really good ankle pivot, which I'm hoping will translate into some very cool poses. Um, the, the actual pants, underneath it, it feels like there's an undergarment. Not sure what that is. Um, not really sure if I care, to be honest with you. Uh, but yeah, the uh, ammo pouch, clip bag, whatever we want to call it, it it's a good simulation of leather, uh, good stitching, uh, looks great. But yeah, overall, I am very, very, very pleased uh, with this, uh, this figure. And just to sort of give you a, a cool little Example here. I don't know if I can get him to stand on the base, but hey, here's his uh, little brother right here. Well, uh, hey, there we go. Yeah, so big brother, little brother. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, look for the photos at uh, gregcookphotography.com or uh, on my Facebook page. Instagram is where I normally throw things up first, but. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, if you do, stay tuned and hopefully I'll try to put together some videos of actually doing poses with this thing out in the wild and taking the photographs of it. Sort of give you an idea of what I go through to achieve the final photos that you see uh, on my uh, social media site. So anyway, thanks for watching and I uh, hope you guys have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.